Hey again, Paul here from makeyourwebsite.com.au. This is part two of the Artist Steer lesson, um, showing you how I created the Golden Point Cafe website design. Now just to refresh the memory, the Golden Point Cafe design, this is what I'm aiming to achieve. Okay, so back over to Artist Steer, and this is where I'm at at the moment. Okay, so I just need to finish styling off the article section. Okay, so I want to have a border around my pictures. Okay, I'll make that border black. Okay, and the, the picture is going to form. As you can see, the pictures in the articles have that nice thick black border around it. So that's why I've done that. Okay, so heading one, I wanted to use that Times New Roman, which is going to match the cafe. As you can see, there's Times New Roman there. Now I'll start styling the menu down the side here. Um, actually, before I do that, I just want to change my text to drill sheet. And there we are. And give that size 13 a bit more size in there. Okay, now over to the blocks. Now, blocks refers to these blocks down the side. Okay, so don't have any border or background on them. Now, these are going to form the big links, as you can see down here. Don't have any bullets there. Don't want any underline on the links. I want to align those to the right. And I'll make those fairly large. As you can see there. Okay, now the colour. I want it to be a, a bit of a lighter shade of grey. I want that strong colour. And that blue sticks out quite nice. That should be the blue. When it's hovered, the theme coloured blue, which will match the logo there. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to match that logo up with the edge of that menu there. So what I need to go do now is go back over to my header, go to the position and just move the logo across a little bit. It's pretty good. And just align that up there. touchy. Alright, back over to the block section. Okay, and that's nice and in line now. And as you can see, this is starting to take shape and look fairly similar to what we've got here. Now obviously the content is going to be different. The content they use in Artist Year is just example content and gives you everything. But you can see that the, the basic elements are looking fairly similar here. It's out all the headings and everything like that. It's starting to really take shape and look exactly how I want it. Alright, so just a few more finishing touches on this. I want to get rid of that those capitals there. So back to the articles in the header text.
Just looking through the other items now. Okay, the footer. I need to change that footer there. I don't have an RSSS feed. RSS feed, sorry. Um, I want to get rid of, change the actual background fill colour. Just leave that as what. This quote section here, just tidy that up a little bit. Yeah. Leave that as white. Might give it a bit of a board. And I'll make that border colour. That's the nice pale blue. Okay, so as you can see the the site itself is really starting to um, take shape and look like it. I can change the colour of these buttons by clicking on the buttons here. Nice big red button, I don't want any gradients and I don't want a shadow on them. It's hovered, I might hover it as dark, it's a bit too dark. And the pressed button I'll make black. Okay, so you can see how everything here can be edited and altered and that. So that's about it for now. So what I need to do is save this. So what I'm going to do is pick up the top file and save as. Now, if you are, have the trial version, you'll actually be able to do this step because you won't be able to save it. If you've got the trial version, you'll need to go to export and export a Joomla template. I'm going to go through export in the next one. But a step here, what I'm going to do is go to file, save as. And I'm going to save this as the God Point template. That's an RTX file. Okay, so I've now saved that. Now that is the RTX file. If you've got the home edition, that file you'll need to send through to us and we'll convert that into a Joomla template for you. Okay, if you've got the standard edition, you'll be able to convert that yourself. But I'm pretty happy with how that's looking. Um, as I said, that's going to come up very similar to how I've got it there. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. Next lesson, we're going to be exporting this Joomla or this template so we can import it into Joomla. We'll see you next time. Bye.